Get Healthy Utah, along with our partners, the Utah Foundation and Guiding Our Growth, just completed our first ever Healthy Communities Roadshow this past spring, 2024. We visited 10 locations across the state from our large urban cities to our smaller rural towns and learned about their unique assets and barriers to build healthy communities. We had over 400 in-person participants with representatives from elected officials, city and county staff, transportation and planners, health departments, and more. The goal of this roadshow was to educate and train local leaders and communities on the new Healthy Community Series reports from the Utah Foundation, results from guiding our growth survey, and the Healthy Utah Community designation. We also learned about local successes from some of our Healthy Utah Community designees. They shared about how the designation has helped increase partnerships in their communities and help focus and prioritize ways to improve overall well-being and quality of life. You have gotten out of this is a very strong partnership where we work together. As a small city, I do not have enough budget or space to have a health department. I do not have a police department. There are many things that, that other cities take for granted that we don't have, and so we partner with Summit County. Dr. Bondurant has been amazing. Participants participated in roundtable discussions around priority topics for their communities, such as active transportation, planning and zoning for health, getting residents outdoors, healthy food access, mental health, and social connectedness. We had partners with expertise in these areas share their resources and answer questions. It's our turn to be the face of, of the health department. So hopefully today, and as you work on you realize um, that the health department has the skills, specifically community health, has the skills and the opportunity to support you in your planning, your community um, engagement, um, evaluations, and whatever you're trying to work on related to um, a healthier community. Um, and then I'd like to end with just a quote from CDC that I love. It says, health promotion is the science and art of preventing disease, prolonging life, and promoting health through the organized efforts and informed choices of society, organizations, public and private communities, and individuals. We really strive to do is the concept of uh, strategic alignment, taking all of the little arrows, all of us have these little arrows that we have, our programs, etc., and really aligning them in a direction that really can have that positive long term effect in our community. And the other thing that we really know and that we've adopted is the terminology of collective impact. If we all are working together to do the same thing, that collective impact now will produce the desired effects in our community. that we were doing in our community but it also made me as a mayor want to look at and plan for uh, probably programs and opportunities for people of all ages and of uh, all sizes to participate in. Having been a part of that uh, as a school board member in my community for 14 years Putting all this together and submitting it. So, um, 
having, having that designation is a nice thing. You get, you get a, a cool plaque and certificate, but some of the reasons why we, we uh, were motivated to do this is um, we have a lot of businesses that are interested in setting up a shop in, in Lake City and in Davis County. And one of the things they really like to look at is, is what are some of the opportunities for our employees to have for recreation, for exercise, and, and what can we do to ensure that we have a healthy staff, we have healthy employees that uh, aren't gonna have a lot of high costs associated with, with these employees. So we, we felt like this was a really helpful tool, so far it has been, to, to let uh, these potential employers know that uh, Lake City is, is a great place for them to set up shop, and there's a lot of opportunities for them to uh, have a very active uh, working staff. It these things, and they'll give us ideas moving forward. We received our redesignation in April at the Utah Leagues of Cities and Towns Conference, and we are grateful for that. And I appreciate the fact that you have to redo this every three years, because it really does put a focus on what are we doing, what did we do successfully, where are the areas for improvement, and are we doing enough, what can we do more? And so um, Kelly and the mayor and, and city council members, we all got together and we talked about what are our next steps forward, and um, what can we do differently? And then we also looked at neighboring communities to see what they were doing. Of course, we all share our ideas with each other. And so we were very thankful and grateful to have this redesignation and we look forward to implementing the things that we discussed. Another goal of the Healthy Communities Roadshow was to have participants take some polls on what policies they would like prioritized to improve healthy communities. Here are the policies in order of priority participants ranked for active living, healthy eating, and mental wellness. Get Healthy Utah has convened a policy group to work together on supporting the implementation of these policies over the next few years. We thank everyone who participated in and helped host the Healthy Communities Roadshow.